Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. We have a world first tonight. This is an AM780 motor by T-Motor. And as far as I know, there are, I've only seen one other one out in the wild. And that was after knowing about the title and searching for it. <laughs> so AM780, brand new motor from T-Motor. Before we get into the content, I have to let you know this video is sponsored by T-Motor, who sent me this motor for review. And I this is the first look. I, I've only had it out of the box just to look at it. And I have, there's no information yet. There's nothing on the website. There's no technical data on the website. <laughs> there's no pricing data on the website. You cannot buy it today, but it'll be coming because very clearly this is a production ready unit. So this is not a beta. And uh, I just want to say thanks to T-Motor for sending this unit out for me to review. And as you might be able to surmise by the title, this will be going on a 78 inch airplane. <laughs> so this is a 40 CC motor. And man, all I can say is that I am really thrilled that T-Motor is seemingly going all in on fixed wing. I, I'm thrilled because they have high quality stuff. It's good power, good stuff. Before I open the box though, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of, of a heads up and we'll come back to the box, but I just wanted to give you a heads up and share something with you. And this is something that T-Motor actually asked me to share with you and make sure that everyone knew about this. And that is their, uh, they're doing a Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale. And as you can see, I've got a, a link up here. The link is in the description. It's tmotor.shop. Link is in the description. Make sure you check it out. 13 hours left as of this video. This video is going out on 1127 at 2100 so or 2130. So only 13 hours left. So make sure you check out their site. And I wanted to point out a couple of things that caught my attention on this website during the sale because they're pretty good actually the first one is the am 600 combo if you take a look here they've got this one marked down from 259 to 233 so nice little sale on that one and i will cover i'll show you where i'm flying that that combo and i i am just i love this combo it's such a good one so the t-motor am 600 combo is out there that's a good deal and the am 670 combo if you remember i'll show you a quick video on this too this is the one where i put it in the slick same combo that i put in the slick and they've got that marked down from 324 to 291. This comes with an AM670 awesome motor. That's flying the 70 inch slick and AM116 uh, ESE and the 18 by eight prop. So this is a really, really nice combo for the price. 291 bucks, that one caught my attention. And let's go take a look at those real quick. I'm just gonna bring the big camera up and show you. Here's the laser. If you follow my channel, you know this Laser V2 from Extreme Flight is one You guys of remember this one, right? Planes. Let me just advance the ball a little bit, and you can see where I took an X-Power 22 off, and there it is at the bottom of the screen. That's the, uh, that's the AM600 that I put on the laser just recently. I love this combo, and I think T-Motor is doing a great job with their power system. So that's the AM600 combo that I just installed on my favorite airplane. That's the laser. And then... On this one, this is Hello, the Slick. So the maiden flight of the Extreme Flight Slick V2. That's a Slick V2. And this one and just got the AM670 combo. Any questions, Dave? So if you remember, this is the one I just did this flight. And this was, can we run a, let me mute this real quick here. This was a uh, test to see if we can run a 6s power system on a 12s sized airplane 70 inch so that's the slick they both got these combos that i just showed you so the am 670 so i'm not just you know this is a real deal for me it's a good combo bottom line okay next up is the t-motor am 116 the 116 and if you didn't know i just did a video last night on the helicopter this is the esc i ordered from t-motor at the sale price 119 bucks for 116 amp ESC, this is BL Heli 32, D-Shot, bi-directional protocol, awesome ESC for the money, and I'll tell you what, it works great with their fixed wing combos. I love this ESC, I just ordered one for my helicopter. So that'll be going in the helicopter. And uh, also, they have a price on the AM600 at 103 bucks instead of 129, the AM670 at 113 instead of 141, 
and they've got that awesome black f carbon fiber prop, 18 by eight at 39 bucks. So th these are the things that caught my eye on their website. And, and, you know, I buy this, I buy this gear. I love this gear. I use this gear. I've purchased my own team motor gear and at these prices, they got my attention. So I just thought I'd point those out to you, let you know if you're out in the market for anything in that 60, 67, 70 inch class, uh, good, good equipment out there available. And there are others too. You know, if you're into quads, you can look and see they've got, uh, FPV motors, they've got cinema motors. They've got all kinds of ESCs, smaller ESCs. You know, they got the uh, 115 amp, 75 amp, 50 amp. So smaller ESCs, if you're into that. Uh, nice sale prices on all this stuff. And again, T-Motor makes good quality stuff. So um, I'm definitely a believer. Anyway, that's that. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what was going on on their uh, Cyber Monday slash Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale. Only 13, 14 hours left on that one. So if you need anything, get over there and get it. Um, they are some really good prices and for some quality stuff. Okay, next we're going to get into the into the box. And again, this is for a 78 inch airplane. So this is a 40 cc motor. Now, expectation wise, again, there are no stats. They don't have this. They don't have the price. I didn't even get uh, suggested pricing for this. What I would say is that I have my fingers crossed that this comes in under 250. So I would expect under 250 or less on this is what I what I really hope for. That's what made me really happy to see that on this motor, 250 uh, bucks or less. And just to give you an idea of power, these are normally somewhere in the 130 to 140 amp range. You're looking at about a 21 inch prop. These are swinging some big props, right? 21 inch props. And power wise, if you didn't know, you're looking at 5,800 watts, give or take, you know, 55, 58, somewhere in there. Obviously, for a motor this size, we have to test it on the airframe. So I will be looking to do a test with some thrust and wattage testing just as soon as I get the airframe, which is out of stock right now. And as soon as it gets back in stock, I'll place the order and we'll get the airframe, air, airframe for this motor. Um, so we're working on that. As soon as it comes back in the stock, it'll be purchased. Okay, so here it is. Ready? Here's the drum roll. A look at the AM780. Um, oops, <laughs> it's like you get to see the QC pass sticker though. They got the QC pass little logo there, T motor, some Chinese, uh, writing there. And uh, on the back, you get to see a little bit of information about the product standards and requirements. So anyway, we got a QC pass sticker, a little foam cover, and there it is. There's the meat. So let's just get right into the motor. I love these T motor <laughs> motors, man. I'm going to tell you guys a quick story on how this came about. I knew I was going to do a 78 inch airframe and I contacted T motor and I asked him for a motor. I asked him for one of the ones they already have. And they said, well, we really don't like that one for 3d. You know, we know you're going to fly that 3d. We don't like that one for 3d. That's more for like a heavier plane or, or a heavy quad. And I said, no, I think the specs are fine. I'll do it. I think it'll fly. And they said, well, I'll tell you what, um, we're, we're getting ready to release the 780. How would you like that instead? And I said, okay. <laughs> So they sent it out and I already love the AM 670. It's in my slick. I love the AM 600. It's in a couple of my airplanes. So here it is the AM 780. This is a 900, 190 KV. This is a 12 S 12 S motor. Like I said, about 130 amps and about 5,800 Watts. So there's the T motor. And this follows the same form factor as the others. One of the really cool features about this motor that I like so much, if you notice right here, You've got about, what is that? About a 10 millimeter flat spot. That means you get about 10 millimeters of adjustment. If you see right there, right in that hole, there's a screw, that's a grub screw. And that allows you to adjust your backstop up to about 10 millimeters. Isn't that cool? That's really nice to get your backspacing exactly right on your cowl. Very cool feature. I absolutely love that. And then on the back, Another, it's another really nice feature I love about T motor. Let me dig it out. Let's dig the parts out here. I want to show it to you. This is another really cool feature that I like about T motor setups is the way they do their motors. Um, you don't have to worry about if you've screwed in, if you've screwed in cross mounts, you know what I'm talking about. If you try and screw this in on the plane first, um, it can be, it can be, it can be problematic. So, um, what they do is they have actually, oh, wait a minute. I may be, may be misspoken here. I'm gonna double check my work. Okay, so they have two different cross mounts and they have the hardware. Oh, so this one doesn't have it. I thought it did. So on the other motors, they have, they have the ability to install the cross mount on your firewall first 
and then you attach the motor and screw it on. This one doesn't do that. This is the older style where the cross, cross mount has to go on. But let's take a look at it from the side because here's the problem that that solves on other motors is when you put the, the radio mount on and you try and drive the screw in, a lot of times your driver runs right up against the motor. So it looks to be very close, but it looks clear as well. So it looks, I can see the holes, they're clear, okay. So no problems there, but um, there you go, there's the cross mount. I actually thought it was like the AM670 where you could put this on the firewall first and then insert the motor and screw it down and that's not the way this one works. Whoops, my bad, my bad. Okay, so anyway, there's the cross mounts. You get two different styles. Check that out. A little bit different. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the use case is for this one. If you're familiar with the use case for that style cross mount, leave a comment after the video is over and let us know. Share with the rest of us. I'm curious about that one. That's an interesting cross or radio mount, radio mount cross mount. Um, definitely different. There's two different styles. You got, you got the bottom one and the top one. This is the one that I would expect to see. And then they include this one. So that's definitely a little bit different. Okay. Anyway, that's it for the radio mounts. Again, little bag of hardware. You got your washers. You've got spacers. If you do use that, uh, spacing on the, on the, on the back, back plate here, if you use that spacing, there are usually spacers in here that you can apply to keep it from moving. So you can do that as well. And then of course you've got the prop washer. See, there they are, they're there. That's the little disc that you can put in the back there. And then that looks like a bushing for different prop sizes. And then of course the prop nut. So let's take a look, closer look at the motor. We'll get the box out of the way and let's zoom in on the motor just a little bit. All right, this is the same pattern that I've seen on the other T-Motor devices or T-Motor motors where they've got the red anodized, little diamond cut edges, very open up top. So they kind of minimize the spinning mass here up on the top by making this open. And it also creates room for ventilation. So that's what that's all about. And then if we look at the windings, I can see, I don't see any crossovers in there and the windings looks very tight. So I don't see any problems that I can see inside, but also notice inside it's clear all the way to the bottom. Now I'm not a motor designer engineer, but I don't think I've ever seen that before where all this mass in the center has been removed. That's interesting. A lot of holes in there, a lot of weight been removed. And then on the bottom, I don't know what the pole count is. I didn't count before the video, but there's a look at the bottom where your windings come out. And then you can see that the three motor leads, there's no bullets already soldered on. They include them in the package. You have to solder them on yourself, um, but you do have a nice sheathing right here where the, the wires egress through the motor and there's a tight ring right there to keep everything tidy and out of the way, away from the spinning parts of the motors, the spinny bits of the motor. So there you go. That is the AM780. Now, again, don't have specs on this one, obviously, because it's not on the website yet, and I have never put it on an airplane. So I'll be able to give you performance data once we get it mounted on the plane, and that's the, that's the plan. We'll get it mounted, we will run the watt meter test, and we'll see what's going on. Well, this one will get a 21 inch prop on the 78 inch plane. So that's it. That wraps up the first look at the AM780. This is the first look. Now, sometimes when I do videos like this, people say, well, when do the rest of us get it? Well, it's a first look video and it's a pre-release. So they'll put it out there. It'll, it'll come. Um, I can tell you right now that it's not a question of being out of stock because it's never been made available. So when they're production ready and they get them, you know, they got to go through the retail process. This is a first look just to give you an idea of what's in the pipeline and imminent. So it'll be out soon. That's all I can tell you. I don't have dates from T-Motor. I didn't get it. I didn't get that kind of information. So that's it. I want to say thanks again to T-Motor for sending this AM780 out for review. I'm very excited to have another entrant in the big motor space because got to be honest with you, the options are limited. There's only like three options right now, and I think one of them is going away. So it's nice to see T-Motor stepping in with quality hardware in the big motor space, the big electric motor space. Very excited to try this out. So thanks again to T-Motor for sending this unit out for you for review. Don't forget to check out the big sale going on. You can definitely score some good deals on some really good equipment, good ESCs. And uh, remember what I told you about the combos, the AM600 and 670 combos of that 116 ESC. They go well together. They work well together. That's what I like about them. So don't forget to check out their website and see if there's anything over there that you can use for yourself. 
With that said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.